everybody and welcome to another Forex Market Preview. My name is Jason Stapleton and this is a time that we all come together every single week to talk a little bit about the currency markets. I've showed you show you a little bit about what I'm looking at and uh, I show you some of the ideas that I've got and hopefully that helps you make some trading decisions and it helps play into your uh, you know something for your toolbox that you can use throughout the week to kind of watch and uh, and uh, gives you a chance to evaluate the market maybe with another set of eyes. If this is the first time that you're joining me, thank you so much. And if you are, of course, one of the now more than 40,000 people uh, who get this email every single week, thank you so much. Um, and as always, you can sign up anywhere on the site, triplethreattrading.com, and uh, I'm happy to send this to you every single week. doesn't cost you a penny. Um, it's my way of just staying in touch with people who care about what I do around here. Today we've got some things on the docket that I want to show you, and there are a couple of trades, and we're going to stick mainly to the majors today. Uh, on occasion, I throw in some, uh, you know, some of the more uh, more obscure pairs, but today we're just going to take a look and try and stick with the majors. And I'm going to start out with the euro dollar. Now, you guys will remember from last week, I told you um, we had this channel that this this channel that had formed up. This is actually a bullish flag. If you take a look at the movement that's happened um, over the last several months. And now we've got this nice bullish flag, and we also have this trend line support coming up. And I said, you know, guys, I, I, I can't be short the euro right now, despite what everybody's saying, because the pattern just is lining up in the opposite direction. And uh, we did get a rally last week. Um, there was not anything there that was tradable for me, but it did keep me from taking any short positions that may have uh, presented themselves because I didn't want to be short right now given the overall bullish trend of the market. Now, we did come right up against that level, that trend line resistance level, and we pulled back off of it. And there is actually a trade that I want to show you guys on the four-hour chart that may be a benefit. We were looking at it on the daily chart. Now, when we drop it down to a four-hour, naturally, you can see some breaks in the trend line to the upside. And that's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about today because there is a trade in here that could present itself that might be valuable to you. Now, we talk about wanting to, not wanting to be short, wanting to be long. And I always try and look for some sort of harmonics or advanced pattern Gartley pattern, butterfly pattern, something like that, in order to make my trading decisions off of, helps me uh, pick winners. And what I want to show you guys is a pattern that's setting up here. If I draw in my line here, you're going to see that the the last low here came into a high, and then we pull back right into this 618 retracement. If I take the next leg of the move from here to here, and I'm actually looking, if those of you who are new, I'm looking for this retracement, the one that comes back up this direction, came right back up into that trend line support right at the 618. So if we want to look at this, actually, I'm going to fatten this up because I don't like the way this looks. Let me make it a little bit fatter. Let me make it dotted. And then let me set it as the default that way. When we grab the line tool again, it'll draw in here right now. So we've got this little start of a pattern setting up. Now what I want to do next here, traders, is I want to copy and paste this line. So I have a, a, two equal distant lines here. These are the same length. Um, this line and this line are the same. And I want to drag this one down here. So I've got a equal distant move here. Now this, just this pull down here, this retracement and this projection uh, is an ABCD pattern. But when we add in this leg of the move, the X to A leg, that is the anchor leg. Um, and that anchor leg is what prevents, presents us with our advanced pattern. And in this case, that advanced pattern is a Gartley pattern. And it's going to terminate right here at this 786 retracement. If I bring in my Fibonacci extension, swing high to swing low, and back down in, what you're also going to see is that there's beautiful 127 ratio confluence. So I have a Fibonacci extension, a 127 extension, and a retracement, a 786 retracement, all coming in right there. Now I look left, and what I also see if I look left is an area of congestion. An area where the market came back down, we fought it out here, and the bulls won. 
So as the market comes back down into this area, I have a pretty good idea that this is going to be a good area to look to get long. And so what I want you guys to pay attention to this week is if this market pulls back and gives you a chance right around, oh, what is that, uh, 141.90s. Um, you may even go 142.02 or something like that just to get above the even, even handle of 4200 and look for a long opportunity if this pattern completes. And again, this pattern, for those of you who aren't familiar with it, is a Gartley pattern. And so that's what I'm watching on the euro. Um, it's not a lot. It's not a big deal. Um, it's, uh, you know, but it is a four-hour pattern, and it's in the direction of the underlying trend um, that we've been looking at and trying to stay, the reason we've been trying to stay away from being short. So we'll roll over to the euro yen now and take a look at that one. This, again, guys, is another one that is, uh, um, is a nice little pair to trade every once in a while when you get a chance. And what I want to look at here is another potential Gartley pattern, I believe. Let's go ahead and draw it in again. Looking at it on a four-hour chart, drawing our initial leg, we see that, again, I'll draw the lines in here for you, X to A, A to B. We get our B to C retracement. Coming in right there at the 618. Beautiful. We go ahead and grab our line here, copy and paste. And this one's actually not going to come in on a 786. This one's actually going to come in on an 886. Right there. See the 886 that I just popped in there? Right about there. And on this particular chart, you can see again, look left. If I go ahead and grab my box tool here, we're going to look right about here is going to be our potential area for reversal. Whoops. And then if you look left over here, you can also see the area of congestion that comes in right here, where the market tried to find some support and in fact did find that support. So again, if the market rolls over 10840s looking for long opportunities um, in a uh, this is a fairly bearish market. This would be a counter trend Gartley trade in anticipation that the market was uh, was again going to rally here. Now the nice thing about this and what I really like about this is if I bump it out to a daily chart you're going to see that this area we're looking to get long is actually a, a you know a decent area for support that we've seen support along this area before now we have seen some dips in through here but this pattern formation makes this a really nice buying opportunity so I am going to be watching this into next week and seeing if I can find something here to trade switch over and look at the pound run a little bit long on this video let me see if I can bang this out a little bit quicker than normal. Oh, I got a lot of stuff on that chart. Let's get rid of all of this. All right, clean the chart up a little bit. And I'll go ahead and start drawing some stuff in here for you. Now, my guess on this, and it really is a guess, is going to be the market's going to come somewhere back up into the previous resistance level here. Now the reason for that is because when I look at the last leg of this move from low to high, we see the pullback from there is only about a 382. And then when we pressed higher from that leg, swing low to swing high, ah, come on, we never got to the 127 extension. So my guess would be that somewhere in this neighborhood, we're going to see this market reverse. And it looks like it's a lot, but it's really not. It's 66.50 to 67.50. It's about a 100 pip range, and I wouldn't even look to short these until we hit 66.70. And so, and then I'd have my stops right above these uh, spike highs here. So you have an opportunity here, and there is a potential trading opportunity. Now, they do, do run the risk here that this market may break out to the upside which makes this a little less appealing because if we bring in our harmonics you're going to see that those harmonics clearly will take us above this previous structure but and up into this structure back in here and so there's a lot of little levels back in here that the market may be watching the most the closest one is here 
at around this 127 extension. But what makes this a less appealing trade is the fact that we have these levels back here that uh, are going to present themselves. Doesn't mean you can't take the short position here. Doesn't mean this is a bad trade. But again, if if you're using any type of qualifier, which I highly suggest that you do. So for example, hey, it's got to come into the 127 extension, and then I need to get a lower low lower close, or I need to get a a, a reversal candle like a a doji or or you know a bearish engulfing or something like that and any of those you can use as your qualifier you can use a a moving average and say hey i have to get a close below the moving average before i'm going to take the market short there are a lot of different ways that you can do it i'm just saying when you come into a situation like this where your harmonics are not matching up with your fibonacci and your structure you don't have stuff matching up right and so there's that means that you know for lack of a better term, it means the market isn't harmonically balanced. I know that sounds kind of all new agey and everything, but it's it's really not meant to be. Either. But markets do have a, a a harmonic balance to them when they're when they're operating in in, a, in the right tone. You'll find this area where structure will meet harmon will meet uh, market harmonics and Fibonacci, and those are the perfect trades to take. Those are the ones we want to take all the time. In this case, we don't we don't find that, and so while you can still take this trade at the 127 at previous structure, I would uh, you know I would I, I would caution you and say, well, if you want to do that, just use one of your reversal um, indicators, and and candles are a great indicator of that. Um, let's look at pound yen. Oh man, again a lot more. Did some analysis on this la a couple of weeks ago, and. Uh, ended up coming into fruition it looks like now we've already come into um, the low marks low water mark here we can see that the market has retested that we've also been in this heavy downtrend here so this is what I would expect to have happen here is I would expect this market may go a little bit higher here because we haven't come into the trend line yet. We may pop here to this trend line, but the trend line is held really well with the exception of this one little breakout here. And if that happens, then what I, I mean, if we pop back up here, I would expect the trend line to probably hold, and then we'd see a retest of these 127.37s. Now, if I draw in my Fibonacci here, Again, we're at the 382. If we pop, we may pop to the 618. Now, this is where my my technique gets a little bit tricky because if we hold this 382 and the market rolls over from here, I would not be looking to buy these. I would actually be looking for the market to break lower. So if we go here, if we don't go higher from here when the market opens, if we go lower, I would really expect this market to come down into this 127 extension. Now the interesting thing about this, and if the market goes to the 618, then we may look for an advanced pattern in here. But let's assume for a moment that the market doesn't spike significantly, or we trade sideways here, and trend line resistance holds, we don't come up into the 618, and then the market rolls over. I would expect the market to come down into this 127 extension around 121.28. Now let me roll out to the daily chart. And when we roll out to the daily chart, what we're going to see as I pull this market back is that there's a spike low here and on this chart this is really the bottom hopefully you guys can see this at home and if I look at this and I drag it down in here I really have a potential reversal zone here between the 127 and the 1618 extension this is the prime area to look for a reversal if it's going to happen. Now again, market's been very bearish. We're coming back down into this support level. The question will be, do we break below? If we get below 118.71 or whatever the lows are that are back here, I think that's about what they were. Um, we get below that, we don't want to be anywhere near this because it means it's falling off a cliff. But this is these are the lows so if the market comes back down into these there could be a really nice buying opportunity right around here around 121 28
so we'll keep an eye on that one as well again this is a higher time frame chart it's a higher time frame trade which means you need to reduce your position size in order to not get totally burned on this last but not least let's look at Canada Canada and you know what I don't even know that we need to look at Canada you know what we'll save Canada for I know some of you are screaming now saying, oh, no but I want to see Canada um, Canada really wasn't a big one all I wanted you to see was that hey had uh, massive downward move here market still holding that resistance line and although we've broken out to the upside um, you know we pulled back here a little bit um, this is still showing a lot of downward pressure this is not one that I want to be involved with right now um, yeah until we get some sort of advanced pattern here because this is this is just showing nothing but downward pressure so anyway that's Canada we've looked at euro today we've looked at euro yen pound pound yen and Canada I hope I've given you a couple of I know I've given you a couple of Gartley patterns there to look at and a couple of potential trading opportunities throughout this week and um, I'm hoping that uh, you guys will come back next week we'll have a couple of nice little winners to talk about I'm not real big on uh, on uh, you know stops and targets and all that in here. This is really not designed to be a tr to send you trading calls. It's designed to give you ideas and concepts about the market. Um, if you would like more information on this type of trading, if you like what you see here, run right underneath the video is a link, of course, where you can uh, go and join a subscription program that I have. It's really cheap. And uh, it's going to give you a ton of valuable information every week. We do uh, private trade reviews. We put out some trading calls, some trades that I take. And uh, I also do some training every single week with you guys to help build, build up your skill set and your knowledge base when it comes to trading this type of stuff. Um, so it's, it's great for beginners, it's great for intermediates, and uh, you know if you've got uh, some advanced knowledge of this, um, then it's really not for you, because it's really designed for traders who want to learn how to do this. But anyway, we're running about 17 minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it down, but I really appreciate you guys. Be on the lookout for the two-week pro trader boot camp that I'm going to be running here soon, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Until next time, good luck and good trading. I'll talk to you soon.